Yeah, yesterday, Jeremy was published here in USA Today. Now, Jeremy, tell us, what was the iPad about? The op-ed, uh, the original title of it was Theocracy for Me, but not for Thee, and we're simply looking at, uh, I and my co-author, Patrick Hines, who is the author of a book titled In Defense of the Religious Right, uh, we're looking at uh, how the hypocrisy, I mean, the uh, theocracy charges thrown around uh, against uh, people on the religious right, and, and we argued that it's a disingenuous charge by a lot of the people who are making that charge because uh, they won't use it against people who agree with them who would also theoretically qualify as theocrats, people who would be on the religious left. So do you see uh, the religious left as uh, also a threat, the way they say people on the other side to the religious right as a threat? No, I don't. I mean, first of all, they don't usually win elections anyway. It's, uh, uh, I mean, the, the greatest example of, of, you know, letting the religious left, to, you know, uh, have their day at the ballot box would be a couple of years ago in Alabama. There was a, a, an election, a, a special uh, election that was on. Uh, there was about 1.2 billion dollars worth of proposed taxes to benefit the poor and soak the rich, and uh, the, which the actually hurts the poor. Yes, well, there is that. Is, um, is, is he a newsmaker? Uh, not today. Yeah. Please, okay. Go ahead, Sorry, Jeremy. <laughs> Yeah, not from the grip department. Yeah, yeah. Yes, this has become tiresome. Anyways, and and uh, Governor Bob Riley was saying that people should vote for this because Jesus would vote for the least of these. And uh, quite a few people were, were all praising him and whatnot. And uh, it just failed miserably because people didn't really want to have their taxes raised. It's just a thing. So, poor help, poor people. Yes, there you go. You make an excellent With their taxes. And, uh, so, everyone run out, buy a copy of In Defense of Policy by Jeremy Lott, and, uh, join us for our next newspaper interview. Thanks. Thank you.